For the first time in 24 years, Aung San Suu Kyi is leaving Burma. The Nobel Peace Prize winner has announced she will travel to Norway and England. Jonah Fisher, the BBC's correspondent in Bangkok, says Suu Kyi's decision to travel is a milestone in modern Burmese history. This is a hugely symbolic moment uh, for Burma, a sign of the growing confidence uh, which Aung San Suu Kyi has in the reform process and the confidence she has uh, in, the, in, the, in the military backed government that she's now dealing with on a reg regular basis. Earlier this month, Suu Kyi met with English Prime Minister David Cameron, who invited her to England. The Guardian writes it's unprecedented change in Burma that is causing Suu Kyi to finally leave the country, whose former military government kept her under house arrest for 15 years. The change began when a nominally civilian government took power in 2010, and Thane Sane, the president, ushered in a series of reforms. Among these was greater freedom of the press, ceasefires with ethnic rebels, and the release of political prisoners. But why is she traveling to Norway? Well, her ties with the Scandinavian country started when the Norwegian Nobel Committee awarded her the Nobel Peace Prize in 1991. Shalmak Nibondovic from Oslo's Association for Peace and Human Rights tells Norwegian newspaper Vardens Gang she has previously said Norway is the country she wants to visit first. She told me that when I visited her last June. She has a special relationship with Norway because of the Nobel Peace Prize and the Rafto Prize. And actually, she's also coming to collect her prize from more than 20 years ago. So is Geir Lunderstadt, director of the Norwegian Nobel Institute, excited? You bet. He tells Often Posten, it's going to be a party. She hasn't held her Nobel speech yet, and we're looking forward to that. Her visit is something I've been anticipating for 21 years. I've never met her, but I have talked to her over the phone several times. Aung San Suu Kyi became a political prisoner after her party, National League for Democracy, won the 1990 general election and was released in 2010. Earlier this month, according to The Guardian, the National League for Democracy won 43 of 45 seats in the Burmese parliament. For Newsy, I'm Christina Hortman. Multiple sources, the real story.